How should small businesses change to survive the pandemic? The COVID-19 pandemic has caused instability in almost all industries, whether a Fortune 500 business or a small business. No one was prepared for the wide-scale impact. Small businesses were impacted the most, with some having to shut temporarily and some permanently. According to data released by Yelp, 60% of businesses that were closed were not going to reopen. The effects of the pandemic in the long term may seem bleak and helpless, but there are means by which small businesses can adapt to the new normal, prepare for the future and survive the pandemic. Here are some points which you can adopt. The first is organizational agility. Organizational agility means the ability of an organization to renew itself, evolve or adapt to a rapidly changing tumultuous environment by combining speed and stability. It requires organization to be flexible, customer centric, have a stable team dynamics and possessing a growth mindset. While this had already been central thinking in many businesses, it has now become essential for survival. Processes and systems keeping in focus the ability to be agile have aided many organizations to be flexible, adapt to remote working, digitize processes and create systemic change through cooperation across all facets of the organization. Businesses must learn how to pivot, develop new strategies, be it changing the platform from software to an app or change the business model itself. The second important point is digitization. Over the years, it is understood that businesses should be transforming digitally, but only some have devised and implemented the strategy for it. However, with nationwide lockdown and other preventive efforts taken to restrict the spread of the pandemic, businesses have been forced to speed the process of digitizing up. This shift is imperative to keep up with customer preference for digital engagement as well. The likelihood of remote working models for employees continuing for a while post-pandemic also requires businesses to adopt digitization. It is not merely a temporary solution, but a change in cultural mindset for employers as well as employees. The third important point is business spending. With the pandemic, businesses need to reevaluate how they are spending their money. It could be converting print ads to digital, investing in digital marketing as customer engagement has shifted to virtual market space. There are so many areas upon close examination that businesses can make cost-effective changes and optimize the business spending. Reducing spending is the most impactful way to make changes in uncertain times. Businesses must take to social media. This is the next point. Engagement over social media is one of the best ways to foster relationships with clients. Apart from just posting creative social media posts, companies should look to interact with their customers. According to the Global Web Index, just more than half of the world's population uses social media, spending on average 2 hours and 25 minutes daily. Companies should utilize the time wisely to maximize their efforts in social media. Social media marketing is a good investment for companies to make, looking forward to a new way of business. The last point is work environment. The pandemic has had a tremendous impact on mental health. Whether the extra responsibilities of homeschooling, lack of childcare or just fear and anxiety surrounding the pandemic, it has become crucial for companies to heed to the needs of their employees. Companies should create a safe space for employees to address some of the issues that have cropped up due to the pandemic. So if you are a small business struggling to stay afloat these difficult pandemic times, remember to adopt to the new normal with the changes suggested. So many micro businesses and small businesses have evolved and hence have survived. So why shouldn't yours too? Thanks for listening and have a lovely day.